Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we bring you a brand new segment to Rebel Femme called... DIY till I die. My name's Morella and I'm Yadira and today we're gonna show you how to do a glitter wall. But first, we can't do that without pizza and beer. Yay. <laughs> Bad luck. What? If you cheers and you don't stare the person in the eye. <gasps> Can we do it again? We already lost it. Oh. <laughs> Step one. Definitely have alcohol because you'll need to be buzzed doing this. Mm -hmm. It's a very long process. Yes, it made it all the much more fun too. Yeah, it's delicious. So the reason why we had to have pizza and beer for this tutorial today is because that's actually how Yadira and I put together the glitter wall in our bathroom here at Rebel Femme Salon. Clearly we had to have more of it anyway. I mean it is like 10 a.m. but who cares? So we had lots of buzz around our bathroom. We went through lots of trial and error with the wall but of course we have handy dandy Yadira over here and she was definitely able to come to our rescue. <laughs> our bathroom emergency. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> so let me tell you a little history on our bathroom. So first it was a completely plain, ordinary bathroom with the laminate, like plastic, cheap wall stuff that you can find at Home bubbly Depot. And weird. Yeah, bubbly, gross. And it just looked ugly and totally not Rebel Femme. We had to spice it up a little bit. So the first thought we had was gold metallic paint, which we totally tried to do. So in order for us to get the paint to stick to the laminate or the plastic or whatever the material was made out of, we had to use a primer. We use this adhesive primer, I think it's what it's called. I don't really know. But either way, um, we painted that on first and then we used this metallic paint and it came out looking like caca brown. It Literally, did. like somebody went and smeared caca on the walls. And everyone was really upset. We came up with a plan B, and that was DIY our own glitter wall. So for your project, you're going to need Mod Podge, assorted sizes of glitter, something to mix in a big bowl or a big bucket, and a spatula. We got the Mod Podge off of Amazon as well as the glitters and we got some of the glitters at um, Hobby Lobby. Step two, take your Mod Podge. Don't get your pizza with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Pour it into whatever bucket bowl that you're mixing in. The more you pour of it, the consistency will change. So if you want a denser look. Definitely don't add as much Mod Podge to your mixture. You'll want to do maybe like half a ratio of Mod Podge to whatever your glitter ratio is going to be. And it's really just eyeballing it. And we used a much bigger bucket to do the wall. So this is just for the video purposes that we're showing you in this little container here. kicked in already. <laughs> you just mix it up. <laughs> We're actually going to show you how to put it on to this beautiful frame. Instead of our bathroom wall, because it's already done, we don't need to show you that again. <laughs> and we're not doing it again. Mm -mm. No, that was a lot of work. But it looks fabulous. Fantastic. Literally just take your Mod Podge mi mixture and just apply it onto whatever surface you're putting it onto. nice and evenly. And it looks so pretty! <laughs> so if you're at all concerned how I was concerned with the way this looks, it's supposed to look this way. It dries. It dries. So this Mod Podge was a, different than the matte version, so this is the shiny clear one, I yeah. think. This was the shiny one, so this one will actually allow the glitter to still stay shiny, versus if you were to go in with the matte one, you'll just get a really dull finish. <laughs> just keep in mind it's really messy so if you're doing this on a wall definitely cover your floor or else you'll have a 
glitter floor and if that's what you want, that's totally fine. And it does take a minute to dry. So we went ahead and placed um, an old towel down just so that way Yadira can finish moving the Mod Podge around the frame. Now one thing we do want to add is that the even though we totally failed initially with the primer and the gold metallic paint, it actually acted as a nice really pretty background for this gold glitter wall. So I definitely would suggest if you do attempt to do this in your bathroom or at your home in your wall wall on your wall <laughs> this beer is really kicking in here we would definitely suggest making sure that you know for example if you wanted to do a pink kind of glitter and you really wanted it to pop doing a pink wall first and then your pink glitter would probably look really beautiful um, this is definitely gonna look a little bit different because we have the black background which I'm anticipating is still gonna look really cool with black and, and gold so just kind of keep that in mind um, when you're deciding to do any type of gold wall or gold frame. I don't think we can do these these videos with alcohol and not like, first thing in the morning. <laughs> no, not first thing in the morning. <laughs> this is definitely a first beer for breakfast. Not complaining. Oh, you missed a little piece right there. Do you want to do it? So, Marella, are we doing the shampoo wall next? Hmm. <laughs> well, I am definitely down to do the shampoo wall, except I think that our viewers should comment down below and let us know if we should do the shampoo wall. So if you really want us to do the shampoo wall and you want us to videotape it, comment down below and let us know and we'll definitely be doing it over some more pizza and beer. Yay. There, now it's perfect. I still see black. So it usually takes about an hour to dry, but we're in a hair salon. So we can just use it. you're gonna to want to let your Mod Podge dry and it should take about an hour and you can already see it's coming along really beautifully and you can see a little bit of the black background but we still got a ways to go where the white's at so it's definitely gonna look really cute hanging up in our bathroom so if you want to check out our glitter wall in person you're more than welcome to pay us a visit in Mission Viejo California and if you really liked this tutorial please give it a thumbs up subscribe and comment down below and let us know if you really want us to do a live tutorial of an actual glitter wall in our shampoo area. I'm kind of intimidated because it's a pretty large wall, but let us know if you want to see that and tell us your alcohol of choice and we might make the video happen. Thanks for watching and until next time, DIY till I die.